Good morning, everyone, on this early Tuesday morning. Hopefully, you're off to a good start. It is cold and frosty out there. A lot of us between about 25 and 30. Uh, from there, we'll have lots of sunshine today. Should be a nice day. And then tonight, things are going to start to change pretty fast as we'll see increasing clouds. Areas of rain will move in probably just after midnight. And the big story with all of this could be the wind as we have uh, wind advisories in effect for the entire area here and uh, for the, some of the mountains we do have high wind warnings and when you have a high wind warning above about three or four thousand feet that means winds could gust to 70 to 80 miles per hour so in a few spots it wouldn't even be surprising to have a few power outages just because of the wind not an individual thunderstorm but because of the whole storm system that's kicking out of the rockies and into uh, uh, the middle mississippi valley and that's going to uh, give way to a big snowstorm into the colder air and a good bit of rain that a lot of us will get as we head through the overnight into very early uh, Wednesday morning. So here is the setup as a graphic shows really quiet weather today. No problems out there. It'll say cool, but still, I think a lot of us will be between about 52 and 55. There you see this evening, the clouds thickening up. Look at that big area of rain from uh, just south of Memphis across northeast uh, Louisiana, and the snow's breaking out for the Ozarks into southern Missouri, some heavier snowfall totals, some heavier rainfall totals. There you see the battleground kind of uh, right into the northwestern edge of Tennessee and southern Kentucky. For us, the wind will really start to pick up tonight, and uh, it's going to be gusting in many valley areas between 30 and 40 miles per hour, and some of the mountains, once again, could gust to 50 to 55, and you get into the Smokies even higher than that. Rain starts to move in as we head through the overnight, and uh, some heavier downpours. Not expecting any severe thunderstorms, but you can see the big storm system just kind of kicking out, and I think that's that's why our wind will be uh, pretty gusty for a period of time, especially through early tomorrow morning once those showers and areas of thunder showers push on to the east. You see uh, perhaps some windy weather heading off to early Wednesday morning. And then we'll have some wraparound clouds behind this. And by, well, let's say Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, a few sprinkles and some mountain flurries, especially through the overnight as we head into Thursday morning with some leftover clouds. So a lot going on, even though it's very quiet right now. And uh, that will begin probably tonight after sunset. There you see a second storm system moving in as we head through the second half of the weekend. And next week, still looking unsettled as well. The battleground getting a little bit closer as that colder air kind of oozes its, its way uh, into uh, the uh, uh, southeast slowly as we head into the month of February. So that's something that we'll continue to watch by the end of the period. We'll have to continue to uh, keep our eyes on perhaps a little wintry weather that could make an appearance. But... Still, as we head into the next several days, I still think it's going to be unsettled and cooler, and uh, that will be the trend as we get rid of one weather system, a cool first half of the weekend, and then the second half of the weekend, there you see some more rain, snows up to the north and west, uh, perhaps uh, near Missouri and back into Indiana, and then after a little break, there you see another little weather system, and that kind of sets up for a good part of next week before some colder air tries to make its way down into the south and east. So uh, weather-wise, it is quiet this morning, and uh, we're thankful for that, but uh, it's going to get much more active over the next 8 to 10 days, and tonight's just the beginning. And once again, the wind could be a big story for a lot of us, so take care, be safe, have a great rest of your Tuesday, and uh, we'll talk to you later.